I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at what kind of water to use with your arrow gardens. So I have a um, arrow garden growing herbs over here and tomatoes, and um, you know you have to actually water these quite often as they start to mature like this. So when I first started using the arrow gardens and first planted the seeds, you really don't have to put much water in at all. But I find that now that it's actually got mature fruit on my tomatoes and the herbs are um, getting to be pretty big, I actually have to water these every day or else they start to uh, really run out. So, you know, what kind of water should you use? Obviously the water choice can be kind of a sig significant because this is a hydroponic garden. So all of the nutrients for the plants are being transmitted through the water around the roots um, and they're constantly being bathed in that water. Uh, there's a pump that's circulating it around there. So choosing the right kind of water to use can be significant depending on where you live. Um, so obviously the first and easiest choice is to use tap water. Um, and oftentimes that's probably fine if you live in an area that doesn't have particularly hard or particularly soft water. So if you don't have to do anything to augment your water on a normal basis, then it's probably fine. The only issue you run into, there's chlorine. Um, there do tend to be more chemicals in tap water. Um, so that can affect the plants and affect the nutrients a little bit. Um, also, you might, depending on if you do have hard or soft water, you might get lime scale and other kinds of deposits inside of the arrow gardens that over time can build up. So you want to follow the procedures of um, every other feeding, opening the arrow garden, and fully cleaning the reservoir, especially if you're using tap water. But obviously that's the simplest, and most economical choice. Um, another option would be to use filtered water. So if you have a filter on your fridge or if you have a Brita filter or something like that, those are good. It removes the chlorine. It removes a lot of the kind of dissolved solids from the water. Um, so you can still get some chemicals that would leach through, but um, that'll take out a lot of the stuff that uh, might build up inside of your arrow garden or might cause an issue. So that's a good step. And it's easy, obviously, to produce that uh, pretty quickly and doesn't cost that much. You're running a little bit of water through a filter. You're probably uh, having to pay to replace those more frequently because this, again, will use a fair amount of water each day. Um, but that is another solution. And then the final one is actually to use distilled water. Um, and this is actually spring water, but I started out at the beginning using distilled water. You have to buy that from the store separately most of the time. And that's sort of the best option. It's one thing that Aerogarden says you can try, especially if your, um, your water locally is very hard or very soft. Um, the issue with that is that it gets really expensive. So I find that uh, I go through one of these full, I just have refilled this with, in my case, I'm, I've been using uh, tap water. So I refilled this uh, probably every three days. So you go through a lot of um, distilled water or spring water if you were to actually use that all the time with your air garden once the plants are fully mature. Um, so that would definitely be an expense and obviously not great for the environment with having to constantly throw out these plastic bottles. Um, if you find that you're really getting a lot of issues and having trouble growing your plants though, it's something you might try is to switch over. Or if you see a lot of deposits of, um, you know, lime, kind of red deposits of iron and that kind of thing inside of the arrow gardens when you go to clean them. Um, again, I'm using tap water. Uh, I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. It seems to be working totally fine. Um, I've lived in other areas where I probably wouldn't use tap water, uh, but around here it's fairly clean. If it's an issue for you, then I would switch over to just a Brita filter or a basic fridge filter to get some of those contaminants out. And if you're really still having problems with buildup and scale or um, kind of discoloration issues on the roots of your plants inside of these water reservoirs, try distilled water for a little bit, see how that works for you. If you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps.